Hi, I'm Kate from the Small Things blog. Today I'm going to show you how I've been styling my hair lately. Um, it's a very kind of loose wave look, not as precise as curling each section with a smaller curling iron so you really see the twist, but more of a kind of very loose spiral curl. You can see my cat, oh he just stuck down. He's playing in the bathtub so he might be making some noise in the background. Um, I've divided my hair in half and clipped up this section and we're going to do a light coat of... Bye kitty! He knows when I spray hairspray and he runs away. Um, a light coat of Kenra Volume 25, my favorite hairspray. Just over the section of your hair, this will help hold it. The only thing you'll need is a few duckbill clips, um, and then I'm using a one and a quarter inch curling iron by Hot Tools. Hot Tools is my favorite brand of curling irons. They're really, they're really great quality. And we're just going to do very large sections, probably larger than what you would naturally think for this size barrel curling iron. So you can see I've kind of grabbed it and we're going to start at the root like we normally do and then just twist it out but with this style we're going to include our ends in at the very last second and then drop it out and twist it up and put it in shape. That's kind of like the setting curls tutorial that I've done in the past um, but these sections are much much larger so you get kind of a almost like a hot roller look, but instead of horizontal placed curlers, we're doing vertical ones. Precision is not important with this hairstyle because you kind of want to go for a loose look. And then just kind of pinning it up. And this is to allow the curl pattern that you just put in with the curling iron to set in place while it cools. If you have resistant hair, this is a great way to lock the curl into your hair. It'll last much longer than if you let it just kind of drop out and cool down. So you can see it's a quick style. You don't really have to hold the curling iron in very long. Okay, so we've got this bottom section done. Now we're going to drop the top section down. I like to kind of get my part established in there so I know which way the curls are going to go. So you can see all of this is just going to go kind of straight back. We'll do a light mist of hairspray over everything and then make sure you comb through the section before you curl it. So always away from your face like usual. So we're going to be doing this section next. It's a little bit harder to kind of control the sections when they're bigger than the width of your curling iron. So you won't be able to get quite as close to your scalp as if you took a one and a quarter inch section that matched the size of your curling iron. But since we're not going through with a really spiral look, it's okay if you don't get as close to the root. Mainly we want the curl to be seen like in the mid shaft of your hair. And then the reason why we're incorporating the ends is so they're not too straight since it's just a big kind of voluminous soft wave. I don't want these like stick straight out and sticking out at the bottom. This is also a great technique if you want to wash your hair at night and then blow it dry and maybe wear it 
like in a ponytail on top of your head so you have a lot of volume at the crown. Um, then you wake up in the morning and you've got the stick straight hair and it normally will have a little crease in it where you've put the, the uh, hair tie in. But this is a very quick curling tutorial so if you wanted to just put a little bend in your hair in the morning you wouldn't have to go through the process of drying it and smoothing it if you need to do that and then curling it. So it kind of would save a step in the evening. And since it's not a very precise style, you could take even larger sections. And this is definitely a tutorial that once you do it a few times, you kind of get the method down and you know how fast you can hold each section. Always come through your section before you curl so you don't have any awkward creases or little fish hooks at the end. Okay, so now we're getting around to the front. What I'm going to do is kind of clip this section that way, and we're going to make this all of one section. So then we're kind of going to finish up here. I'm going to sort of style my bangs into my hair here. So I've broken this section in half. We'll curl this one away and then do the bangs separately. So if you wanted to wear your bangs down, you could just kind of flat iron those to the side in my how to flat iron your bangs or how to style your bangs tutorial. Or you can do what I'm going to do and kind of put a very soft bend to them so they'll blend in with the rest of your style. But with the bang section, you want to kind of comb that out right away so you just get a little bend and that way you can do a little swoop without it being like a spiral curl right in front. So from here, you'll let it cool down. This would be a great time to like finish makeup or get dressed or do whatever you need to do and then we'll come back and I'll show you kind of how to move forward from here by taking the clips out and really running your fingers through it and loosening everything up. Okay, so we've let these sections cool. Now we're just gonna slip the clips out of them. You can see it really held the shape really well. from here just run your fingers through it and really break up all of the sections and you kind of want to mesh them together. Look at all that body. That has to do with kind of letting them set in the clips. Make sure you get all the clips first. So I'm just running my fingers over everything, softening those sections and kind of bringing them all together. The only thing that was on my hair when I started this, besides the little spritz of hairspray that I did before I curled the section, was a quash uplifting foam, um, which is the, also another reason why I get so much lift. So from here, we're going to tease a little bit, and this will help kind of bring the curled sections together so you don't get those parts um, down the center of your head. And I would just do kind of a rough tease. If you have any questions about teasing, I have another video tutorial titled How to Tease Your Hair. 
But this is a great way to give your hair some foundation so it doesn't fall in the middle of the day. And I really need my hair to last all day. If I'm working at the salon, I get hot when I'm doing blow dries or flat ironing or anything, so I don't want my hair to melt. And the humidity in North Carolina is brutal. So anything I can do to help kind of keep it lifted a little bit off my scalp so when I do sweat, because I will, the sweat doesn't actually hit my hair quite yet, is, is something I like to do. Okay, so with the back here. So you can see the teasing kind of helped bring those sections together. We don't want to really see much of the curl, so pulling it out or softening it will help just bring the whole look into the soft wave. Okay, then I'd finish with a little bit of hairspray. Not too much, because you want it to bounce a little bit and move, um, but I always like to give my roots a little extra boost. And the hairspray will help keep the sections from turning all into one big wave. So you just want enough to hold the style. This technique would be a great foundation for almost any of my other hairstyles if you don't want to take the time to curl with a smaller curling iron. Because you can see it gives you the bend and the texture and a lot of lift. So a great way to start a half up style would be to do this technique. So I hope this works for you. Um, again, I used a one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron. If you have longer hair than me or thicker hair than me, um, try this size or even a little bit bigger. And the key is putting those duck book clips in so the style cools and can hold so you have kind of this loose wave after you finish. If you want to see any other hair techniques, be sure to check my blog. I have a hairstyle tutorials page that you can refer to for any other hairstyles. Thanks for watching.